The 2014 Farm Bill, recently passed by Congress and signed today by the President, includes two new initiatives that will provide funding to explore and research the nutritional benefits of pulse crops in our diets, while also establishing criteria to place pulse crops on the lunch trays of American school children. So pulse crops are defined as dry peas, uh, lentils, chickpeas, and dry beans. Uh, that's what a pulse crop is. Pulse, the actual word pulse, is from the Latin word thick soup. We've known since biblical times that these crops are healthy. They've been around for a very long time. And, um, but in this day and age, we need, we need uh, scientific research and human studies and those types of things are expensive and this is where we needed the help and this is where the PHI is going to come in. We all know they're healthy. We all know they have dietary benefits. The great opportunity is to develop new ideas and new data to support increased consumption by consumers in this country and around the world for that matter. The Pulse Health Initiative, or PHI, will provide $125 million over five years to conduct research into the health and nutritional benefits of pulse crops. That's really what these dollars are for, is, is to uh, provide uh, sources for research, for uh, functionality, sustainability, and the nutritional aspect of these crops. So it's really about research from farm to fork. The first goal really is to address obesity and chronic diseases. Uh, we certainly have a huge problem uh, with obesity and its associated chronic diseases in this country. And through research on pulse crops, we hope to offer solutions uh, to help address those major health and nutrition concerns in our country. If we can improve the health and dietary habits of Americans with this, uh, with this program and folks around the world, uh, that's a great outcome to strive for. The second goal is really to address global hunger and functionality. So we know that these crops are some of the highest dietary fiber and vegetable protein and potassium that you can have in your diets. One third of the world starves today. So we have to increase our production on these acres that we produce today. We have to do a better job of managing that production, less waste, and, and get it into the mouths of, of the people that, that need it as their source of energy. And the third goal really is to address sustainability. The good news is pulse crops really provide some of the lowest water use crops that you can grow on the planet really, and they fix their own nitrogen in the soil. The School Pulse Food Product Program will allocate $10 million over five years to the USDA to purchase pulse crops and establish a delivery chain to introduce dry peas, lentils, chickpeas, and dry beans into school food programs. Its primary goal, really, is to introduce new pulse foods into the diets of our school children. The USDA uh, determined that dietary fiber and potassium were some of the biggest items lacking in school meals, which means how can we get these foods into the kids' diets because we already know that they are a nutrient-dense food. It's important to get young people eating dry beans, peas, and lentils at a young age. We've not done a very good job of that historically, and this is really a jump start of that effort to try to encourage young folks to look at these crops in a different way, look at these products in a different way, and hopefully encourage those folks to prepare school lunches to look at different applications. We have a good story to tell, and from a health point of view, and I'm excited about the opportunity now to see these studies being done and um, so from both a health point of view from an agronomic point of view as a grower um, I can only see positive things happening with this research.